Welcome to Primary YPWW Lesson 1. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is honoring our founder, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. Our lesson scripture is coming out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9-14. through 14. The memory verse, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially though they who labor in the word and doctrine. And that's 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. The target for today's lesson. The Church of God in Christ should remember and honor its founder, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. Paul told the Thessalonian church to remember those who work for God and preach the gospel. He spoke well of those who lived holy. He encouraged all followers of the churches of God, which are in Christ, to remember and to hold to the truth of God's word. This is a great time to remember our founder. September is a great month for the Church of God in Christ. It is the birthday month of the founder. It was a month of miracle healing for him as a child. It is Founder's Day, so people everywhere could know and honor the founder of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason. Young Charles Mason was born on September 8, 1866. He grew up on a farm in Memphis, Tennessee. His parents were named Jerry and Eliza Mason. They were former slaves. He often prayed with his mom and neighbors. He knew about Jesus, but he wanted a deeper relationship. He had heard and seen the power of God revealed in the lives of the old slaves. He wanted it too. At age 14, young Charles fell ill. His dad had died two years earlier of yellow fever. His mom thought young Charles would die too. But on the first Sunday in September, God gave him a miracle healing. He traveled to many places giving his testimony. He, drew to be, he grew to become a faithful minister and strong evangelist. Evangelist. Bishop Mason is the founder of the Church of God in Christ. God gave him the name of the church one day while he was walking down the street in a town called Little Rock, Arkansas. He had preached in fields, churches, and in town squares. Hundreds of people were saved and many churches were started by him. He preached and sang songs under the anointing. Many received the Holy Ghost. He taught believers to live a life of holiness. This means to live faithful to God, righteous in all things, and pure, sinless. He reached people of all races and did not care what color people were. He shared the message of the power of the Holy Ghost and the importance of living holy. He encouraged praise. He inspired true worship and the release of God's power into the services. The Church of God in Christ began to grow. Today, the Church of God in Christ is the largest predominantly African-American Pentecostal church in the world. Bishop Mason prayed with his mother when he was a child, and God healed him from a serious illness. The questions for today's lesson. Number one, whom did Paul say we should remember? And who is the founder of the Church of God in Christ? Question two, what happened to young Charles Mason at age 14? And what is the largest black Pentecostal church? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.